your learning so far from yesterday? What have been your yesterday learnings, afterthoughts? It's not only about learnings. You go away with some, something new in your mind. And that mind, you know the power of thinking mind? Right? We did that. And your mind starts processing that. So what has been the, that processing process? And what has stayed with you? And what you wanted to leave? You said, okay, let that go. So we would love to hear uh, from about your from yesterday's. Yeah. Is it just from the session or like from the meetings we had afterwards in the group? Both, 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 all included. Whatever you want to share, please do that. Who's going to start? Pratush, why don't you start and then pass on? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. So, I mean, this is kind of specific because this was a discussion we had in the group, but I learned about like each person's different interests and like uh, what their ideas were. So that gave me a, a picture of them as a person itself. So I, I knew like uh, when we're working in a group, how each person would probably react or stuff like that. So I was able to uh, bond with the group basically, I guess, like we had a conversation. Mm -hmm. So okay. I just learned about the team members. Great. Great. And we'll pass on to? Pratesh, who would you like to talk next? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll pass it on to Amber. Okay. Who would you, Amber? Mommy, yesterday that the thing I learned um, was that, like, um we we are no, now we are going to have a competition between us i think so the teams mm -hmm. okay and i think so now i have to be serious because of that <laughs> good one number <laughs> nice nice i'll just pass it to my one of the team members rena didi okay yeah we learned about design thinking and uh, we Personally, I learned that you need to find out what the requirements are. You need to ask questions like for the mouse for the elderly. So you need to know everything in detail before you start working on an idea. And we also had like group discussion when we had various ideas too. And we merged them to, you know, find out the phone for the child and all that. And yeah, that's what we learned. Great. And I'll pass on to Suna. So now? Yeah, I'd say yesterday's learning was a lot about like partnership because even the video we saw was about that. And uh, like, and in that we learned about like a loyal, uh, a loyal partner then about like competition that can be there in the market. And then even like as Pratish said, like about our own partners uh, when we were generating our ideas. And I feel like uh, one more thing that we were able to do like as a team was uh, brainstorm. And I think uh, yesterday we discussed a lot of design thinking, right? So uh, regarding that, I feel I learned a lot about like, uh, a lot about how to first empathize, then define the problem, like basically those five steps. So okay. um, I'll pass that now to Akul. Okay. Yeah. The, um, the learning from yesterday, which I took, uh, like I was uh, now I was thinking how to design a thing as per the, the consumer, like what a what a person would want. So if we need to design something, we need to talk to that person. Like uh, if you want to design something for a, a middle class person or for everyone, you need to take thoughts of everyone and then make an idea so that it's fully functional. So I, I was uh, always thinking about that. Like uh, I was thinking about what like pens are from the uh, cheapest pen to the uh, most expensive pens. So like with, uh, the, uh, pen, uh, the pens which are cheap only show their ads and the pens which are like very costly and all they never show their ads. I think the reason is because the thing that the person would buy it would not have a time to uh, watch TV while uh, while he, because he needs to work for every hour to uh, like 
you get so much money and just spend it on a friend. So I think uh, this uh, this was a main learning about how to start a business and what like it is uh, about. So this was one of my learning lessons from you. Okay, and you pass on to. Mama Parson, uh, the mic to um, my three baby. Maitri hasn't joined yet. Oh, Maitri is waiting. Sorry, two people are there. So yes. uh, meanwhile, the time Maitri joins, can you pass on the mic to someone else? Yes, no, I, I will pass on, to, uh, pass on the mic to Aditya. Okay, Aditya, over to you. Uh... So yesterday I learned about uh, design thinking, which is like a kind of process that helps us to think uh, very much out of the box. And it also helps us to like empathize with the person. So we learn ourselves like to put ourselves in the person's shoes who we are designing the product for and then do it. So we don't always do that. We just think we have an idea and you know, it will work for the people, but you have to see it from their point of view also. And then the other steps. So defining your problem very like specifically. And then also we uh, made a team. So I learned how to cooperate with your team members and have communication with them. Excellent. Uh, I will pass on to Samita. So yesterday we learned the importance of understanding your audience. Uh, and we did like a few like I guess design thinking challenges and I noticed we made like that common mistake of um, not understanding our audience properly but like yeah I think by the end of that class we had a much better hold on exactly what design thinking means and uh, why understanding your customer is very important which I'm guessing yeah that's what this class is about we're going to be learning about our customer and uh, yeah we also learned about how a business can sometimes the easiest way to profit a business is with like the not the most ethical means of doing so so yeah those are my main right. learnings i'll pass it on to Renzi. so yesterday uh, we uh, spoke about design thinking and that problem plus design thinking will give you the solution and there were five steps which were empathizing, first understanding the problem, getting proper information and analyzing, analyzing it. And the second thing is, I mean, the diff, analyzing the second step. The third step is finding the solution to the problem and then uh, turning an idea into a model and then testing it. So these five steps, if are done properly, the product would be a success. And uh, yesterday we also had group activities together where we had like some three challenges and we all brainstormed idea solutions. And after that, we were uh, split into teams. And as teams, we came up with different ideas. And so there's a lot about teamwork was there about yesterday more than individual thinking. So okay, I would pass it to Nisha. Nisha, will you be able to talk? Okay. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, can you hear me? I, yes. I didn't think I can start my video because no problem. It's gonna, no know. problem. No problem. Yeah. So, um, basically, since I missed the first 45 minutes of yesterday, I only um, came um, for the, the activity, the first activity with Rehan. So, basically, what we learned there is in order to make a product, you need to have a problem or um, you, you need to have uh, a situation where you can make something better. And the best okay. way to do that is, um, so you, they make a product, which is, oh my gosh, this is, uh, ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, very much. This is I can... loud and clear. Oh, okay. Because my voice is being echoed back. So this is very unsettling. No worries. Gosh. Okay. So uh, with design thinking, the main thing that we learned is that, um, obviously, first you need a problem. And time management is one of the most important things which you can learn in a business because that because time management is like the one pillar around which everything revolves around. And teamwork, obviously, you need to know how to communicate with your team because if your team doesn't like you, nothing is going to work. And that's something which I learned in school too. Mm -hmm. Because we had a 
we had this person who was like bossy and demanding and like ordering people around and we messed up the entire project and <laughs> from that we learned that okay. how important team work yes great thanks thanks metri over to you hi hi so we say what uh, i learned was how uh, design creation is very important especially first you need to create the design in your mind implement it and then take it out because then you get a bigger clarity as to what design i am planning to create and uh, yeah this is what right 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 thank you so much everyone uh